Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading My In-Laws Are Obsessed With Me, episode 67. Let's go ahead and get started. Are you alright? Do you still feel dizzy? Uh, uh, drink some water. He's sweating so much. Do you have any idea how long you've been asleep? What are you doing here? Uh, just get some rest. I'll go get Phineas. Phineas. Oh, he looks like a mess too. What is this about? Phineas, his grace has awoken. What? Are you talking about yourself, your grace? Not me. Hurry, just wash your face and come straight over to the annex. Oh. T -t I came to check up on him because what Daniel said kept bothering me. What was he doing on the floor? Still, I'm glad he woke up. My in-laws are obsessed with me. Episode 67. Huh? What on earth are you doing? And he even took a bath? When did you come back? About three days ago. Venus must have taken good care of his hygiene while tending to him. Is it all right for him to move around right, right away after being in bed for two days? And why is he working in the first place? I'm afraid you look rather pale and you should have something to eat. I brought food that's easy on the stomach. Please, come over here. It can wait. This is an urgent matter. Still... Oh my gosh. There deal. What do you think you're doing? Sorry. Fine. If killing yourself is what you want, keep working. Phineas. He's usually rather stern. Turns out he's even scarier when he gets upset. 30 minutes earlier. Watching until Theridio finishes his meal. Fatigue can temporarily cause nosebleed. So please fret not. This condition won't grow worse, I assure you. As long as he doesn't wear himself out, that is. But it's fortunate that he's regain regained consciousness. Huh? Huh? Uh huh? When you woke up, I was taken by surprise. Are you sure you're all right? I'm only used to facing him from the other side. Am I sitting too close to him? Perhaps he fears or despises women, or he wishes to avoid them, or maybe it's all three. That's what everyone thought. Come to think of it, I've never noticed that while he was around me, except for the first day. I'm sitting too close, aren't I? <laughs> No, not at all. I mean, I thought you might feel uncomfortable. I might bleed again, too. Mm. It's not that I hate you. My hands were so full. So I didn't know how to behave around you. So please don't overdo yourself. Overdo what? Why don't you look at me while you speak? Hmm? 
A while ago, you said you needed to take care of an urgent matter. But you need to get some rest. I'll come with the manager tomorrow morning. Don't try to do anything until then. And I can finish writing an account book. Batch has been teaching me how. Please count on me. Oh, she does so much. There's too much work. Even when the manager is in charge of the documents that go to the palace, and I'm taking care of the internal affairs, but it's fortunate we could finish the account book for the re residents in no time. Hmm. We only have the minimum necessary staff considering the residence size, but now that they're gone, it's completely empty. I wonder if they traditionally send the workers away for vacations for more than a week. Or is it just his preference? Of course, he should be careful, but still, he was born and raised as a noble. Even my father, who cared a lot about his servants, only gave them three days off at most. One day for symptoms before a seizure, a day for the seizure, and another for him to recover. We might unexpectedly need a hand, so if we could if we consider that, or maybe I'm being too lax. What about the trade? Can they secure a supply in full? The situation is looking rather difficult, Your Grace. Your sister sent someone to give us this letter. She says starting next quarter, the palace may begin lev lev levying tariffs in our main ports. In our main imports. For now, we'll have to wait and keep an eye on the situation next month. <laughs> Their deal. I can't believe he's looking through all this. And he went to war after becoming Grand Duke even when he wasn't the heir to begin with. Although, I've always been my father's heir. I didn't know all that was going on in the countdom. I wonder if I could work like him. Hmm, what's that? Is this also related to the residents? There's quite a lot in it. Is this a document listing ornaments for the residents? There are certainly a lot of items, the furniture as well as garden trees, flowers. Rather than merely listing the items, they seem to have paid special attention to their placements. But this handwriting is the Grand Duke's. So, huh? <laughs> he never looked angry at her like that before. Whoa. Huh? What was that? Okay, well. Interesting. Is he OCD? Alright guys, you guys, if you guys enjoyed the way I read and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments. Thank you so much you guys for supporting me and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!